Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and today we are talking about another topic as a part of Agile Methodology. When it comes to Agile Methodology, we have understood a lot of basic concepts and in fact understood different frameworks and what exactly these scrums are. And uh, definitely as a part of this tutorial, we will be getting into something more deeper that what are the scrum roles and ceremonies there are different roles. You might have heard of team, you might have heard of Scrum Master, Product Owner. These are the common roles which are responsible within Scrum. And at the same time, we do have, uh, you know, details of these. And there are various ceremonies, various activities or events which does take place as a part of the Scrum methodology. And that is what we need to understand as a part of this particular tutorial. So without wasting our much of time, let's get into the tutorial. In previous tutorial, we understood a lot about some of the basic terminologies and different work item types which can be used as a part of Scrum project. But in this tutorial, we will be covering beyond understanding more about the Scrum roles. To begin with, we will be understanding the Scrum roles and understanding that how exactly these roles play a vital role and what are those standard things which we generally find when working in an industry. So some of the common roles include Scrum Master, Team, product owner, customer, and user. Let's understand each one of them in more detail. To begin with, we will be talking about the Scrum Master. Scrum Master is generally a person who represents the management to the project. It's just like a project manager in your traditional approaches here will be played by the Scrum Master. So the role remains the same, but here we just have a different naming convention called as Scrum Master who represents the management to the project is also responsible for enacting Scrum values and practices, making sure the team needs any kind of help or making sure that what kind of policies and structure do we have in order to develop a Scrum project is what will be enacted by the him. Revolves, uh, removes impediment obstacles as a part of the project. So generally, Scrum Master is responsible for assisting the development team from time to time in order to help them and help them overcome the challenges which they may face on the way. Ensure that the team is fully functional and productive. Sometimes you may see that there are a few people who might not be having enough activities in order to do that, but yes, monitoring them from time to time will help to determine that what kind of activities are being performed and not only by pointing out somebody's effort but also helping them encourage or ramping up with necessary trainings and mentoring will be the main responsibility of the Scrum Master. Enable close cooperation across all roles and functions. So Scrum Master is one point contact for integration between the other parts of the organization and the development team. So generally, the development team will have all their questions raised to Scrum Master and Scrum Master will coordinate with the product owner or sometimes the product owner can directly interact with the development team in order to give them the inputs. Shield the team from external interferences. So Scrum Master also acts like a shield where they avoid or prevent the team to get distracted from the activities or giving them only that confined environment to make sure that what kind of activities are being performed and what you need to concentrate on, but other than getting diverted with unwanted instructions or probably unwanted deviations. The next major role is the development team or simply called as team as well. We generally consist of five to nine people and as we remember, it, Agile consists of a very small team and very effective where the team is self-organizing and at the same time, they are highly motivated to do and complete their task. These five to nine people will consist of cross-functional members. Cross-functional stands for where people are multi-skilled with the different technologies and different prospects of their own domain. For example, it may include people like programmers, designers, testers, and all of these people will be responsible for their own activities. Like developers will develop, designers will create the design, and tester will test. But the team is so well organized that these people have a very good collaboration, good face-to-face -face communication in order to understand what exactly is going on and what we need to do any further to complete the task. And this team is full-time, 
full time that means it's 100% dedicated to the work and they are put together the agile teams are always co-located so they don't have any kind of distributed concept where they have to waste a lot of time on getting on calls or talking about uh, building the video conferences and all rather we prefer as per the scrum concept that the team is confined within the four walls and sitting at one place thus called as co-located and not less but yes self-organizing is the key asset of this development team in order to meet the expectations and complete the activities at the end of the day so that's what is about the scrum roles as a development team the other important thing is of course the product owner which is just a replacement to your business analyst from the traditional approaches here the product owner is one point contact for you to understand all about the product so it's just a person from your organization who takes the responsibility of interacting with the customer and getting the necessary information for you in order to develop a product and this will be done by the person called as product owner and also product owner can review your product from time to time in order to see that if the acceptance criteria are being met or also to check if that everything is as per the requirement or not additionally the product owner will be the one who defines the feature of the product decides on the release date and content be responsible for the prof profitability of the product prioritize features according to market value adjust features and priority every iteration if needed accept or reject the work results so it's just that you can say a product owner is your internal customer who knows everything about the product and can determine what need to be done at what point of time and also help you to achieve that but at some time can also reject your work if it's not meeting the expectations another important role is obviously your customer collaboration thus we know that the customer is one of the important role who will be consistently working closely with you in order to help you understand the product and definitely help you to get the work done so customer is generally executive manager you can say who is an external to the organization but knows everything about the real time product what they are actually expecting to happen and will be consistently trying to help you in order to de develop the product on time and meet the expectation or to certain extent can also help you to modify any changes when required customer is generally the person who requests the product from scrum team so the person who places the order or generally completing the activities required to meet the expectation is who called as a customer and of course customer will determine the budget which will be allocated to you to do that job so yes putting it all together the customer is the same customer which you have from the traditional approaches but here you have an add-on that customer will help you to determine practically when working on development that what exactly need to be done Last but not the least, definitely we have the users who will be responsible for letting us know that what exactly you have to do. So we also know them as business users in your organization who define the product with his business knowledge and they could be domain experts, end users, marketing department. Why we do have to have them? When you talk about business users, they always contribute from the point of a user perspective or from a market standard that when you are creating a product it's just not about meeting the expectations or the acceptance criteria sometimes it is also important to understand the shoe of a user store so users will let you know that if i have to work on this particular application i would need this particular feature to be there or i would prefer to have this option somewhere here now when these users interactions are there with the development team and they work closely then obviously the developers can really understand that what is that my end users are expecting to do and that will help them to generally put up everything in place in the right order so that the users really find it interesting and helpful so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'll be always there to respond to your queries and answer them well Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.